archaeologists recently unearthed an ancient stone toolkit in Kenya consisting of hammer stones, anvils, amongst other tools, dating back 3.3 million years ago. Almost a million years older than the previously earliest known date for early stone tools. This means the tools even predate our modern genus Homo sapiens. This blows my mind for a lot of reasons. Um, I'm always so excited to find out that everything we thought before was completely wrong. And this is one of those cases, but not by little. By 700,000 years we are off. This is nuts. Recent tools that were found were recently attributed to Homo habilis, aka the handyman. That was the previously known oldest tools. And now we don't even name for these people that were before, well, should I call them people because they're kind of early, early, proto -humans, early humans. Maybe? That's what they're calling them, proto-humans, but no scientific name yet. What do you think? You know, this says that intelligence predates humans. Uh, that's exactly what this is about. Um, it is nuts. I mean, if you think it really does boggle the brain, it messes with everything we thought was right. And you know, when something like this happens, um, you just kind of have to go, okay. But what is seven hundred thousand years? Is that is that a long time though? I mean, I'm, I'm making it seem like yeah, we're off by a huge amount, and we have to completely shift our way of thinking now, the way that we date things. But wait a minute, that's also just a blink of an eye. I mean, you and I would get pissed off if we were late, you know, to work twenty minutes. I sat in traffic for twenty minutes. You know, my I was sitting waiting for the doctor for an hour. Big deal. I mean, these are all just blinks of an eye in the broader scope of the, t the whole history of this Earth, which is billions and billions of years. So. I don't know. I mean, for me, it's just it's just nuts to think that, you know, we don't know anything and we're just learning more and more and we see that we're just more and more wrong about our presumptions because you can only know what you know until you discover more. What you don't know. Right. So you're saying the guy on the left probably did not worry about traffic. No. I mean, that's what I'm OK. No. OK. I, maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. Um, but this idea is fascinating that perhaps we weren't the smartest things uh, that came along. No, for sure. Smarter. These tools could have been used for breaking open nuts and also for bashing open, just broken, uh, rotting logs that had um, insects in them. Nice. And now we know that, you know, today we have much more advanced tools for breaking open these logs to get the insects out, as I use on a daily basis. But it's still <laughs> impressive considering the fact that this was, you know, 700 years before our earliest previously known tool user. So blows my mind and it's like, what's next, you know? You're talking to someone who got her hand stuck in a wine bottle opener yesterday. I could have used one of these, uh, you know, it, this is amazing. This is amazing is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> Margaret, that's a whole other discussion that we'll have another time. You got to practice these things to get it perfect. But hey, we want to know what you guys have to say about all this. It's really exciting to me. I hope you guys find it too. Let us know in the comments below and please, if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.